<laughs> so I told Saga that Tony also got his hair cut, and I sent the picture hair. of Tony. Oh yeah, he even right cut. But Saga's response to the picture of Tony is, OMG, now I have that on my phone forever! <laughs> See, I, that's not the inflection I read that in. Uh, I read that in like a kind of excited inflection that, that petered out after he realized what was happening. Uh, like, oh my god, I have that on my phone forever. Uh, oh, Jesus. oh, fuck you up. I still run this sand. Let's not forget our picks for next week. I have no idea what comes out. I'm going to pick Fantastic Four. Amazing Spider Man. Future's well, End. Mostly mine is because of that, the end of the last issue. I'm really fucking curious what's going on now. Yeah, the last issue I'm going to get. I swear I didn't kill Puppet Master. Yes, 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 yes. Shit, right. Who's running Fantastic Four right now? Robinson. James Robinson. Yeah, and he's kind of killing it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, who's on art right now? It's bothering me. Is it? That is uh, Leonard, Kirk. Leonard Kirk. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Leonard Kirk is the, it's a, it's a fantastic team right now on that book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most historic it. team yeah, is, is actually getting like some history put into it from its like mostly. Uh, the, it, I've read some of the original Sin Times, and most of them feel like really far in the past, like childhood stuff. Yeah. This is the only one that seems like it actually happened outside of the whole Iron Man, like affected the team, like when they were heroes, like that actually was was a thing. Hmm. Would you, would you say that they uh, they topped the last team for the moment? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hickman is still my one of my favorite well, team no, in no, recent no. memory. I know. That is I know. I'm so saying. For, Hickman did my Hickman brought it out of the malaise of the wall run. Hickman's run of Fantastic Four was my favorite thing that Hickman has done in the last number. Of did years. he do Detective Johnny? Yes. Yes, he did. Our right. Secret Warriors still <coughs> has that special spot in my heart for Hickman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Secret Warriors is still the best thing he's done in Marvel, in my opinion, outside of what he's doing now. Yeah. Phobos and Ares sitting on the fields of eternity sure. with each other is beautiful. <laughs> And his, uh, his Avengers issue had really, like, the first, like, three... High concept years. Avengers! I know. I told somebody what my theory is with uh, New Avengers before, and I actually they just stared at me, and they were like, that can't happen. I don't know your theory. The, um, the, the incursions will continue until the Ultimate Earth is coming into our Earth. Wait, with the Ultimate Earth? Ultimate Earth, it will okay. slowly, it will be one of the final Shit. incursions. I didn't think of and that. And that's how they're going to bring Miles, and they're going to bring people into the 616, that's yeah, how they're going to finally sense. fully get rid of the Ultimate No, Earth. that's that's a really... That's, where that's when time runs out. You get going. Quote, unquote. Time runs out when they need to blow the bomb to kill their other universe because they see the mirror itself. Yeah, Cap sees Cap. Spidey sees Spidey, kind of. You know what I mean? They yeah. pulled, I mean, they, they saw those, um, the alternate heroes that were trying to stop the actual, like, hero. No, but now they see the alternate them. Yeah. That's, no. that, that's, a, that's a hell of a bigger impact than I seeing, just thought like, about, the rip off Justice League. I just thought it wasn't even Black Swan. They could pull her out, and obviously they could pull everybody else do out. Do you before. think, They could snap an entire universe right into their school. Exactly. With your theory, do you think that they, uh, Marvel 616 would somehow get their Galactus back? That's how they're gonna get Galactus back. I oh, feel no. he's gonna be part of that world. He'll just around. transcend. No, they, it, they get Galactus back because the negative zone is all one same. Area. Yeah, no, yeah, he, yeah, he goes into the negative zone. That's the beauty of the Marvel universe. And if anyone's keeping track, he's in there with Ultimate Thor. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, and there's and there's another way to bring another character into. Oh 616. yeah, and then, then if Ultimate Thor comes into six sixteen and you have the female Thor, you don't even need regular Thor. Yes. I'm confusing wow. people that don't read the Ultimate. Let me just let me just. Sure. Well, no, that's why I feel like select characters like Miles and certain like really specific characters will be yeah. carried over. They're not going to bring. We're not going to have two Steve Rogers. We're not going to have two right. two Thors. You know what I mean? Well, I, I, I remember everyone saying that when the Hunger came out. We all thought that, and we thought survival and all that jazz was going to be the end, and that was the what third fight. It's been like it's been like Return of the King. You'll know when it's, <laughs> you'll know when it's coming. The Ultimate Universe is ending like Return of the King. It it kind of goes and then it fades back. Well, it kind of fades out well, and fades back. How many, yeah. how many extinction events is like the Ultimate Universe happening? About ultimate, five. Ultimate, ultimate outside of the you know, Ultimate Extinction. The ultimate Extinction. <laughs> and, uh, ultimate Doom, I think, was another one. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then um, Reed Richards becoming like the new Doom. Doom. Yeah. And then five was Cataclysm, right? Holy shit. Speaking, of, speaking of the Ultimate Universe, if you're not reading Miles Morales, you're doing he's, conti to he's continued to be the only worthwhile thing in the universe yeah. for the last like three years. But the, only the, book. the beginning of his run till now, like the newest issue, is was awesome. I just wanted to cover him with the Spider-Man and yeah. stuff. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But it's it's going full circle from where it began. So. Superior started off with a really cool thing with the new the beginning of Spider-Verse. Like okay. this, this kicked off a really cool idea, uh, where he's stuck in the time stream and like space and universe. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Where Doc Ock is stuck. It's awesome. If you like Superior, don't fret because he's still around in some capacity. Hmm. Cool. I can take that. Yeah. It was really, I, I, I was actually a lot happier with that last issue than I thought I was. Well, I thought it was going to be, I should say. That means always a guarantee that there's always going to be Peter Parker, there's always going to be an Otto Octavius, and there's always going to be Dan Slott being death threats from either one of those groups. To a degree, I think that calmed down. No, that, that <laughs> one's a reminder. Yes, 
What? Who could hate Remender? Well, after Captain America, he's been getting lots of fire. There, there's like hashtags fire Remender. Fuck him. Come on. Sad. So, so what's, what's your pick for next week? Uh, guns! <laughs> no, it's tits. Joke's on you, it's actually tits. Which book's that? I don't know. Oh. Probably from fairy tales if we're nailing things on the head. Probably. <laughs> now, if, uh, if anything, I'm actually going to like, as stupid as it is because I, don't, I haven't read the risk, but I'm going to recommend it anyway. Uh, Batman Eternal, just because of the fact that it's still killing it consistently every single issue. And we're finally getting on the verge of getting a uh, uh, spoiler pulling back. And all. Me and a lot of other fans in the store, like Samanowski, are really going to appreciate the fact that Stephanie Brown finally comes back. Well, I, I've been thinking about Deacon Blackfire stuff. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that story. Was I'm confused. Uh, that, that book really fucked me up. The whole Jim Corrigan thing, though. Yeah. Mm. What What do you mean? Just Just the way the Spectre is being portrayed within the 52s. Um, uh, I had it been out to the Phantom Stranger, so I don't know what's going on. I, he hasn't really shown up much for Phantom okay. Stranger. But the oh, fact oh. that he's it's like an entity inside him, he doesn't transform, and he's like. Yeah, I, I think I think something. And he's not is, dead. Yeah. No, I think Blackfire is affecting him in some way. That the oh. Spectre's not. Getting out. I like the guy. I like the kind of thing where they're using like um like Maxi. Like it's almost seems like it is like Maxi Deuce. Like he's using him as like a vessel or something like that. I like when Bilbo shows up. The other cool thing about Batman Eternal is uh, the relationship between Tim Drake and Harper Row. Awesome. I think I think there are a lot of yeah. Like people just like I saw. I think one or two people said to stuff that on Facebook. Yes. There's just like Rob is looking for Jamie. Papa. Speaking of Tim Drake though, in Batman Eternal, that's the best written Tim Drake so far in the film too. Yeah, yeah, I can agree. I can agree. And my pick for next week is also a Batman book. It's uh, Batman number thirty-four. I mean, I have a bank. Um, which is going to be the first Scott Snyder issue, uh, zero year end. He's ended. over so, now. Yeah, yes. so zero years over. So now <gasps> Snyder's going to be writing Batman in the present again. So yeah, 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 yeah. We get Dark Batman again. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn the lights off. The panels again. I wonder who's gonna fight next. Mm -hmm. okay. Killer Croc. Follow me. We're, we're gonna get like two like there's like one that did like that two issues send them back to Vegas. <laughs> we're gonna get like really three really good issues of like current day with the villain. Then we're gonna do like another like year and a half more. I hope they bring back that really great Batman and Robin pre fifty two villain White Bunny. What oh. rabbit? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, she was she was in uh, uh oh she man was in the Dark Knight. She was in Batman the Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, no, no, she was Dark Knight right. though, and it wasn't yeah. Batman Robin. Yeah. yeah. What was the uh, what do you call it? That um, the freak from the early take of comics was looking at like saw blades in his head or some shit like that. Like they eventually just went down the line and oh, said, fuck it, what the hell else can we do? Dollmaker, yeah. that's what it was. Dollmaker's the one who cut off Joker's face. I know, but like in the in the pre-52, he had like saw blades like, oh. on his head and everything. I'm like, We're dude. talking about a company that had a villain called Calendar Man. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> the so, whole flower. So, I, I don't really reach that far when it comes to DC villains. Because they go from like crazy mono like megalomaniacs that want to destroy the world to... A guy with a freeze gun that just wants to rob banks and make his day. I don't know why DC is focused so much on Joker's daughter, why they're pushing her so heavily. Because they attach Joker. Because we'll show what I'm we can do. Well, then, evidently it sold well. This is. Uh, and now we have the Yeah, but it's selling well and being a quality character are two different things. Spawn has sold, so sold well consistently for 20 something years and it's been quality on and off. I like, yeah. the, I like the setup that they gave her a new Suicide Squad. Yeah. Where it was alright. She's, yeah. she's going up against Harley. It, 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 it made me enjoy her a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Well, her, her, her and Harley are basically the same character in uh, Deathstroke and Deadshot. They say that in Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah, I, uh, I think they uh, basically the, they want them to compete with each other. Yeah, Yeah, I love Deathstroke just openly shitting on Deadshot. He's like, I'm going to take the, the shot for the billing way. He's like, well, no, I mean, if it's a assassination, I should be taking that. He's like, I'm the best shot on the team. Yeah, but I'm the best soldier in the world, so uh, you don't need to. Then why am I here on the team? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm Deathstroke. Hey, Tiger, are there any books you're genuinely looking forward to coming out? In general? Or yeah, week? like coming out in the next like, couple months. Um, you, you have the, the closest eye on You look at literally every single thing that comes out. Yeah, but I don't read it, so we don't... Well, you well, don't I, actually, I, I haven't been able to, to catch up on a lot of stuff. I mean, Walking Dead's still insanely good. Uh, Invincible is probably the book I look forward to the most at this point, yes. because every issue is an insane book. Oh, are you updated? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I didn't read this week's issue, but... Oh, you read last, last month's? Yep. That was insane. I like how Babyface looked at me after I read it, and I went, can I guess what happened? I'm not going to say it on the air, just because it, I looked at it, I just mouthed what I thought happened, and he went... And I was like, oh, wow, i got to catch up on this book. <laughs> really, really good. Yeah. yeah. It's very good. It's the, I mean, it's by far the best superhero book in the It's not uh, even close. The amount of people who buy it by issue has gone uh, severely down, it seems. 
unfortunately. It's it's sad that the the Kirkman train has shifted to straight Zombieville, which is a sh it's a definite shame because that book is not that because it's you know tweeting the flag that it's been around longer. I think a lot of people just don't know about it. It's and I see people still so grabbing the volume one and sitting down and flipping through it. That makes me really happy. That that off the bat that Kirkman's name is at least carrying people to the book. Yeah. yeah. Which is funny because there was a point that people were like, I like Invincible, what else has he done? Yeah. And we were giving them Walking Dead. <laughs> Even the new issue of Invincible, this doesn't waste anything, Britt makes an appearance. Oh really? Yeah. That makes me really happy. So. I'm only 31. <laughs> I, people still give me like this honest to God shocked face when I'm like, oh well, you know, if you like this, you know, he did, he created Marvel Zombies. Or, you know, he, did, he did not create Marvel Zombies. Well, to a degree. Uh, he, he sport off with Marvel. He wrote the first one. But at the same time, he also did um, like an entire <laughs> run of Ultimate X-Men that lasted like, what, two years or something like he, that? He wrote about a year and a half of Ultimate X-Men. He wrote probably the only Jubilee story I can stomach. Yeah. Irredeemable <laughs> Ant-Man. Irredeemable Ant-Man, which if you really want to watch a new Ant-Man movie, I think catching up on Eric O'Grady is going to be smart. Yeah. Oh. Starlight's another book that's really good. You know, that's coming out next week. Huh. That is really good. I think I'm missing an issue, though. Yeah, I didn't know it was up to three. Oh. Yeah, I catch up on that. Four comes out next week, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really it's yeah. Really library one and two. I I dug it a lot. It's just really weird to see like a uh, oh, Mark Miller book consistently coming out on time. Well, MBH. That's what uh, MB, MBH. That's good too. I like the first issue. All his books are good. Yeah, Mark Miller's. He takes a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's funny. Hey, the final kick ass good. came out today. <laughs> which one? The final kick ass came out today. Oh yeah. Which is a long time coming at this point. Which yeah. is. As long as we've been open, no yes. store for three, kick, kick this three one volumes and, and Hit Girl. His first thing in the four was literally, wow, I can't believe it's been like eight years. Yeah, kick -Ass and Want, the first Kick Ass series came out in 2007. When I actually stopped them in Kick Ass 3 because I buy them in hardcover. Oh, okay. Yeah, I buy them in hardcover now. I actually thought about it and I was like, this might be ending soon, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to sit back and wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were in the first Kick Ass. We were listening in the first issue. We yeah, yeah. posters in the window. Mm -hmm. It was part of the ad campaign. Yeah, you, you mentioned <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it was special. Us. We got that. We got that special snowflake status immediately. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Star was really pissed that SDCC got an exclusive uh, Deadly Class art cover. That was really cool. Well, you really you ever see the Emerald City Comic Con Adventure yeah. Time art cover? Because that's gorgeous. No, I did not. Has the lich sucking the whole world of blue into a sack. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Don't be too sad. Our Comic Con will probably have blue exclusives. Yeah. Good point. But not what you have, so <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Who's not coming there? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I chose Amazing Spider-Man number five. Uh, the original Sin tie-in with the new character uh, was pretty so, damn sweet. So. Thank you, because I didn't read four yet. Yes, that's why I didn't yeah. say names. I want to to four. But original, original Sin overall has been awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. Sins has been fun. Sins has given us some pretty cool vignettes. Well, the original Sin 7 comes out next week. Yeah. So. What do you mean in general? After that, one issue is done. Yep, and hopefully they'll tell us what the deal is in the next two issues. So. Jason Aaron's been just doing a kick-ass job all around. He always does a kick-ass job. Southern Bastards is another really good one. Southern Bastards is awesome. awesome. Love how, how Thor turned out. Sex Criminals doesn't come out fast enough. Yeah, yeah. next week. Right, yeah, show. but after, after I caught up, I felt like it just doesn't come out. It's so fun. I just I just read the first trade. It's so. fun, right? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, you should read fun. the next, the newest issue. The last issue afterwards was awesome. Oh. Yeah. Like, it just it kept rolling because I was happy, happy to read the trade because the new issue yeah. was coming out. Yeah. But like like that that's one people. of the properties I I would love to see a, a cinematic version of. You don't need that much money either. No, I think the fun I think your budget would be the, the three like time cops. But like that yeah. would be that would be a great indie. Like I could see like Jenny Slate or someone doing that movie. If someone made that movie, I hope they don't talk about why like what her powers for like fifteen minutes. No, and then it just no. kind of happens. No, no, no. yeah. <laughs> one book I just caught up on that everyone should be reading is Velvet. Oh, the, the, the newest yes. issue, the newest story. That it's a, it's at Brubaker. Come on, Brubaker, anything. Yeah, and it's not even just like it's not even just Brubaker by himself. It's Brubaker, and everything. It's the, the creative who, team who did Winter Soldier, who yeah. created the Winter Soldier. They are the guys that made me read Captain America. They made me want to read Captain. America. Well, I'm almost done with Fatal, and Fatal will be getting to end. Yeah, it's fantastic. Who does he? I, I'm, that's Brubaker. It's Phillips. Ah, it's Phillips. Brubaker but Phillips. It, it's something that nobody touches a lot of outside of like the I Mingoverse. Mean, I feel like genuine occult. Everything is really evil or Satanism, yada yada yada. That, that book goes in a lot of weird directions. Yeah, it goes in a lot of weird directions, but it uses that one world, that one word that I, I don't see enough in books, and it's just a cult. Yeah. That huh. like weird underworld magic kind of feeling, and it's a beautiful prime poem. That's the thing I said. I read the first two trades. It, it stay. It not only stays consistent, it gets better at points. Okay. I think it's one of those books I've been putting off way too long. Well, it just ended. 
Mm, yep. So, so you know, that's why I decided, like, oh, now it's done. I can. Uh, I yeah. have a, a place I can walk up to. Now the Fatal's over. The next book comes out in a few months. Uh, the Fade Out. Oh yeah. Rebecca Phillips again. Mm-hmm. Actually, they signed a deal with uh, Image that they're they they're just doing Image books. They can do whatever they want. I think they it's have. It's like, like a five years. five year for a deal. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Fucking wow. beautiful. Well, I mean, if if everything they've been doing so far is going to hint at anything, uh, give them the keys. Let them go nuts. Mm-hmm. Give me the key. Really? Ow. Oh. Thanks, well, Tiger. On that note, I'd like to thank our studio audience. Woo! Woo! Why is such a neck? Because he makes fun of me. Oh, uh, he made fun of being Asian. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something he's, I have to Because he's an intolerant prick, that's why. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for downloading. Subscribe. Tell all your friends about us. I'd like to thank our cameraman, Gibby Matt, Sheet the Heat. Woo! <laughs> I'd like to thank Ed O'Hare for his horrible bet that he made against the man who thinks he doesn't know his best friend. Yeah, thanks for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shame on you if you didn't think I was going to take it. Woo! <laughs> oh, no, I, didn't. I expected you. I know. I, I don't know. Probably. He was just going to yeah. He's still waiting for you to pull the gentleman back. Just hand it back five. Like, oh, no hard feelings. I, you know, he said he was. I believed him. I feel like Tiger's the kind of person that someone has a joke brings up Russian roulette and they're like, yeah. While <laughs> 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 well, it's on the table and it looks surprised when everyone backs away. So it's like, yeah, you're really cool, flute player. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And then yeah. right on the table. I actually can pull this in there. There's one in my license. There's six bullets in this gun. Yeah. <laughs> I go last. I go last. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Like champion. <laughs> Have a fun time, WCBJ. Have a fun time. Hey, wow. Let's do it to surgery. Don't want everybody's episode.